Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on Pepe. All right, your daily updates, or at least I, I think I've been covering this uh, daily for the last couple of days at least. Um, but we're going to do a full update. I think in general, Pepe right now is actually at a, at a, at a pretty interesting level. Uh, we obviously on Monday into Tuesday had quite a lot of bullish momentum. Uh, reach this uh, this major resistance level at 13,000 and 13,500. Um, and from there, so far, we've rejected. And that, to me, means that we have two opportunities here. Um, and it will depend a lot on Bitcoin. We talked about that yesterday already, but the, 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 the facts are, is that, um, or the fact is, uh, that Pepe right now, as most of the market is, uh, very correlated to Bitcoin, right? Um, so if we want to see any major bullish breakout, it will depend on Bitcoin. So, so in general, if you want to trade Pepe, or if you want to know what's most likely to happen for whatever reason, um, keep your eyes on Bitcoin first. All right. If you look at Pepe right now, like I said, on Monday, Tuesday, we gained quite a lot of momentum. So, so that's good. Um, but since then, the momentum, the open interest right here has been relatively flat. Um, we've seen we've seen some deviations where where initially some some long positions were being opened uh, yesterday evening. Um, we had a bit of a closure yesterday yesterday afternoon, and then this morning there's practically nothing really going on. A minor sell off, but, but technically nothing nothing has happened yet. Um, but the, the the most interesting part about Peppa, I think, is that that we have two opportunities to trade this. Um, and like I said, that which one of those will will be true depends on Bitcoin. Um, but essentially, if we, if we zoom in, like so far, this top here is being respected quite a bit. Um, we, we got some sort of a top signal here. Since then, we have uh, stopped gaining momentum at least. And there's also been a, a, a bit of a uh, momentum loss. So those are all. Um, and there's also a, a bearish divergence right here that we formed uh, uh, formed two days ago into into yesterday. So we get these reversal signals at the top. And then if you zoom out, it's also the top of some sort of a, a consolidation range right here. So that creates a short opportunity. Now, personally, I think that if you if you zoom in, we still have quite a lot of uh, support right here at 12,000. Um, so if I would think about shorting this, I would wait for that level to break first. All right, so we're getting some bearish confirmations, um, but I would need a little bit more technically um, uh, before actually entering a short, which in general, with Bitcoin news coming out later today, I think shorting this is quite risky. It's basically gambling that the news we have, uh, the jobs data will be lower than expected. All right, so if you want to gamble on that, then you can do that. Um, but a short opportunity in general, also after the news, is a possibility, assuming that this top of the consolidation will hold. And then apart from that, if, if later today we get some positive news and Bitcoin turns, turns it around and actually turns relatively strong here, or relatively bullish, then, Pepe, then a, a big opportunity also arises with Pepe breaking above this major resistance at 13,200. Because if we can get some sort of a break above that for whatever reason, and the reason will probably be a strong Bitcoin, um, then that's such a big bullish breakout that we can actually rally quite a lot. Um, so yeah, both both uh, there there are both there are opportunities for Pepe on both sides. Um, what we just need to know, or at least what we have to wait for, is some sort of confirmation by Bitcoin. So that's the main thing to watch. I would say, and and this is what I usually say, I would say the most likely direction is the direction uh, that's the mar that that the price structure is following right now. All right, and right now we're losing momentum. We hit the top of a consolidation range, so I think it's most likely that we're going to drop back down into the bottom of that range. Um, but like I said, I'm I'm not trading this at least until I have the the outcome of the news later today. Um, so do with that what you'd like. But those are my thoughts, at least for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.